Good afternoon everyone. Now come to the next topic that is computer network and its types. So first of all what do you mean by computer network? So computer network is any collection of independent computers that communicate with one another over a shared network medium. As I have told you the number of definitions about this computer network. So basically in one shared network you are having different number of PCs connected with this network and with the help of this computer network you can like send uh, information or messages to other person. So a computer network is a collection of two or more connected computers. So we can see uh, about computer network that uh, uh, like basically uh, this computer network includes these points means at least two computer servers or client workstation should be there client means like from where the query is going on or from where the information or the messages is going on and uh, server means like where the request is to be sent so that is known as server so these are like the mandatory things which should be within your computer network. Then you should have networking interface card means NIC card and uh, uh, a computer network should include a connection medium usually a wire, cable although it can be wireless communication means it can be Wi-Fi between the networked computers as well as peripherals if it is like these are the things which should be within your computer network or to get access to the computer network you should have these things like you can access the wire network you can access the uh, wi-fi network and uh, you and the other things which you should have is network interface card you should have in your computer system and at least within a computer network two or more computers should be there so that you can communicate so that the communication can be uh, like done between the computers then network operating system software such as Microsoft Windows, NT or means any kind of operating system you should have. It is not mandatory that you should have network operating system. Basically you should have an operating system so that you can interact with the computer system and you can access all kind of information. Then after that uh, the computer network or you can say the types of computer network. So basically there are three main types of computer network. The first one is LAN then means local area network then the second one is WAN means wide area network so basically uh, we are uh, we generally use like WAN wide area network and in case of schools offices labs we generally use LAN means local area network because within a bin may uh, like uh, within a building we can use LAN we don't have to access wide area network in case of that and uh, the third type of computer network is MAN means metropolitan area network. So I'll tell you about these types of networks. What do you mean by this? The, so the first one or the first type of computer network that is LAN means local area network. And this local area network is any collection of independent computers means you are having independent computers and you can communicate with one another over a shared network medium only the main limitation is that like lands are the networks usually confined to a geographic area like uh, you can access the internet within a single building or a college campus so that is known as LAN basically in your labs uh, you are having the LAN wires so the like with the help of LAN wires you, you can access the internet uh, basically uh, and uh, like LAN can be small and linking as few as three computers it can be more than that it is not compulsory that only two or three computers will be there even though you can connect 50 or 100 computers but often the link of 100 computers used by thousands of people also and the development of standard networking protocols and media has resulted in worldwide proliferation of LANs throughout business and educational organization. That means uh, with the help of LAN we, we can communicate with one another but 
we are having the options of other network also like we are having the option of metropolitan area network even though uh, like we are having the option of wide area network because uh, if you want to communicate like uh, from one location to another location which is out of our country then in case of that we should have one network that is of uh, wide area network so now come to the next uh, type of network that is wide area network so basically this network combines multiple lands means you are accessing the internet but now you can connect like the area the geographical area is now broader means you can connect with the help of wan you are connecting one building to another basically you are connecting number of uh, like the connection of from one city to another city so basically this is uh, like wide area network means all over the world you can access the internet all over the world it is not limited to even the cities also like in case of metropolitan area network you are limited to one metropolitan area like i'll, I'll tell you in the third point so basically this wan is accomplished by connecting the different lands using the services such as dedicated leased phone lines dial up phone lines and satellite satellite links and data packet carrier services so wide area networking can be as simple as a modem and it can be remote access server also done then the next type of network is man so metropolitan area area network covers larger than that of a lan means in case of lan you are having like uh, one limited geographical area that is like of, of one building one office uh, like a school university but metropolitan area network is larger than this lan but smaller than the wan it connects two or more computers that are apart but resides in the same or different cities so it covers a large geographical area and it may serve as an isp also means it can be served as an internet service provider also so this man is designed for customers who need a high speed connectivity and its speeds of man ranges in terms of mbps so it is hard to design and maintain a metropolitan area network so we generally prefer wan that is wide area network so that is it it is about computer like the types of computer networks thank you everyone